Okay. You know, I didn't I didn't want to shoot a video about this, talking about this, but it just it just won't leave me. I gotta say something. So here it goes. Grandmaster J, the leader of the NFAC. Um Tariq Nasheed got on the on the, on the radio. Uh, his uh, show the other day on his live the other day said that Grandmaster J is some kind of agent. Okay. So I've been checking out Grandmaster J over the last couple of weeks, ever since he came from Stone Mountain, Georgia, like a lot of other people. So I'm like, who the fuck can put together something like this? So I you know, I listened to the interview they had with him that day, and I went and started checking out some of his, his lectures and podcasts and shit, right? And then it um, turns out he was a candidate for the 2016 presidential race, right? He was a third-party candidate. His website is still up. You can go check it out. And on, on that website, because I did go and check it out, on that website, I went down his platform. And it got down to domestic policy. And he is somewhere along the lines of uh, Bernie Sanders, right? He, I believe, ran as an, in, 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 uh, as an independent, a third-party independent. And um, I read the policy, right? And I saw all the usual shit that progressives want, like free college, Medicare for all, raise the minimum wage, infrastructure, I didn't see nothing about cutting the national, cutting the defense budget, and I didn't see anything specifically for black people in John Fitzgerald Johnson's platform. And because uh, that is is the website is still up, you can go look at it. And uh, he looked like a real presidential candidate. I mean, he he got he totally got the look to me. Like I said in my other video. He looked like motherfucking Barack Obama on steroids. Barack Obama after 20 years in the military, something like that. And then, so I didn't see nothing, nothing specifically for black people, so that fucked with me, right? That that little bit right there. <clears throat> but still, don't, that don't make him an agent. That just make him a motherfucking politician. And um, then I heard that speech where he was saying all lives matter and all of that shit. And he was getting he was going in a little hard with the all lives matter shit back then. That was that was five years ago. So I got it, I got it. and now he's talking the complete opposite. Right? He's not with Black Lives Matter either. So he didn't switch that way. But he is talking on a pro black level. You know what I'm saying? Because he went to Stone Mountain for Aubrey and he in Kentucky for Breonna Taylor. Now, I got I got to, I got to, I'm not going to say a man is an agent and I'm not going to say I'm going to stop listening to his podcast because I'm not, because he make a lot of sense. But so does everybody else. So that's why I listen to a bunch of people, Right? Now, Tariq Nasheed, on the other hand, is, to me, Tariq is a self-righteous dude. He always say he petty, but he's more than that. He's, he's totally self-fucking-righteous. And he almost coming off like a fucking snake oil salesman, salesman his own self. So check it. He done had beef with He done got on on. on Social media, YouTube, and trashed Omar Johnson. He trashed uh, Yvette Carnell. He trashed Antonio Moore. He trashed Boyce Watkins. He trashed Michi X. So, and the only two people who ain't really came out and trashed, oh, and he trashed Tommy Sotomayor. But I ain't sure he didn't have it coming. The only people I ain't heard. Tariq Nasheed trash is Professor Black Truth and Jason Black. I did hear a, a podcast one time where Jason Black, Tariq Nasheed, and Professor Black Truth was all on the same 
you know, broadcast talking, and Tariq sounded like a fucking idiot. But I digress from that. Tariq Nasheed, though, is a is a whole different. He bring a whole different set of problems. For one thing, he, he, he like I said, he's just an entertainer and a salesman. He a comic, almost. And when somebody asks him something, he don't answer. He never answers a question straight up, because he can't answer a question straight up. Or you don't seem to be able to answer just a straight up question. You just start, you know, dumping on you and trying to roast you for asking him the question and, you know, getting all per trying to get all personal with you for asking him something. You know. Um I want like I said, I wasn't even gonna do this, but fuck it. I'm out here cutting my grass today and listening to Tariq and he mad at Michi X. And he started talking some shit about old niggas like Michi X because this and old niggas and old niggas can get the fuck off it. Well, <clears throat> I'm an old nigga. I ain't no motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not like all infatuated and in love with Michi X like he's saying. I have a beautiful wife. But the shit that he say is real, man. It's real, like, personal and shit. You don't have to do that. You really don't have to do that. If you really write in what you're saying. You, get, you start, you know, just calling people all out their name and shit like that. That's just, that's just crazy to me. That, that, that shows a weakness to me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, yeah, I'm an OG ass nigga. Yes, that shows weakness. You know? Answer the fucking question when somebody asks you something. Don't jump all over the mother, oh, this nigga sound like so and so and so and so. And it's in all of this motherfucker showing how witty you is and how much you can insult people. Answer the fucking question. That's what Tariq need to be fucking telling him, but he ain't doing that. He ain't doing that. He's selling old goon products and he's trying to have mink slide motherfucking concerts and bring back 1995 music that didn't nobody really like in the first place. Or at least I didn't. And, um, you know, and what else? Just sell shit. That's all to me I get out of Tariq Nasheed. Push them DVDs and, and sell them documentaries. Look, <clears throat> here it is. As far as Tariq go, he's a very good businessman. He's a fucking millionaire. So he can't relate to anything Antonio Moore or Yvette Carnell say. He can't relate to anything Michi X say because ain't none of his kids ever went to jail or nothing. He is not on an intellectual level with Professor Black Truth and Jason Black. He just not. I mean, I listen to enough of Tariq shit to know that he is just not. Half the time, he can't even pronounce the name of the people he's talking about. He's an entertainer, and he should stay in that. He's an entertainer and a fucking snake oil salesman, and he should stay in that lane. He's an entertainer and a fucking snake oil salesman. That's what he is. Now, I don't know, like I said earlier, I don't know if Grandmaster J is the real deal or not, but I do know that perception is everything. And when he came out of fucking Stone Mountain, you think a bunch of motherfucking white boys didn't take note of that shit, and, and not, not, now they know that there is an armed, or there appears to be an armed black resistance. That we do know how to get together, and we do know how to support each other on a military style level. We do know how to form a militia. You gotta at least give people credit for planting that idea in crackers' heads. Maybe they'll think twice about lynching motherfuckers so much. Maybe. If they know that something like this exists, 
Because up until Stone Mountain, nobody, we knew that we had gun clubs, you know. And black people joined, you know, uh, gun organizations and black people had a lot of weapons. But I ain't never seen nobody organize something like this. Like I said, I don't know if it's an agent. I don't know if it's the real deal, but we'll find out sooner or later. But it sure goddamn woke white boys up and let them know what time it is. That sh let motherfuckers know how shit could get. To me, there's something to be said for that. To me, there's something to be said for that. And I don't see Tariq doing nothing on that level to counter that except you know, running people into the dirt. <clears throat> running people into the dirt. That's all I see Tariq doing. And, and, you know, from about midway point through his podcast to the end is all him talking about motherfuckers. Uh, you know, putting people dick in the dirt. Saying all kind of fucked up shit about people. Going in personally on people. That's what half of his video is. And like I said, I ain't. Hey, I got fucking, what I got watching my shit. Three people, maybe. This nigga get tens of thousands of fucking views. Now imagine the work he could be doing. I mean, instead of just selling people shit. Look, like I was saying earlier. That's what, that's, that, go back to that. Tariq Nasheed's a fucking millionaire. He's trying to sell shit to people who may, who, a lot of people ain't even got a fucking job now because of the COVID-19 crisis. A lot of black people work government jobs, like in schools and shit like that, that Tariq ain't never had to fucking do. We may, we live in paycheck to paycheck out here. Because like Antonio Moore said, the, the average black family is worth less than $1,000. And you're talking about before, you're talking about a, a situation whereas before COVID-19 hit, most black people, most black people, I'm talking 80, 90% of black people couldn't afford a $400 emergency. And you trying to sell motherfucking records and Ogun pepper spray and documentaries that motherfuckers could probably stream. I mean, seriously, dude. I do know NFAC ain't, ain't taking donations and asking for no money. They ain't trying to sell shit, or at least I haven't heard any, any about him selling anything. Maybe later on when they need funding or whatever, but if we like that, if Tariq wanted to prove the man was an agent, come out there and get in his face and say he's an agent. There you go. Come out there and get in his face and tell him he's an agent. You see what happened. Because the beefing, the, the shit got to stop. It's almost, it's almost like Tariq don't want nobody else to shine except him. Like, he got all the fucking answers. He got all the fucking answers. And everybody else is full of shit. No. Like, like he right down the fucking list. Everybody from motherfucking Umar Johnson to goddamn... Yvette Carnell and everybody in between, he done had a goddamn beef with. Make a cute little mother, little puppet and, 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 and clown everybody out. And all he doing at the end of the day is selling shit. Man, this is why I'm taking a break from this shit. I got to go, y'all. Um, and get my workout on. Y'all take care. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.